So friends, in this lesson number 4, we are going to solve 5 different questions on the topic called average. So friends, all the 5 different questions will be so interesting. They used to give a wrong average and we need to rectify it and we need to find the correct average, right? So friends, let me move on to the 5 interesting questions on lesson number 4. So friends, here is question number 1. The mean of marks obtained by 100 students is 60. If the mark obtained by one of the students were incorrectly calculated as 75, whereas the actual mark by him was 65. So what is the correct mean of marks obtained by the student? So friends, mean and average both are same, right? So the average of 100 students is 60. But they have wrongly calculated the average because the actual mark of one student will be 65. But they have missed it as 75. So we need to find what is the correct average. Listen here friends, totally we know that there are 100 students and the average will be 60. So 100 into 60 will will be 6000 so we can definitely say that 6000 will be the total marks obtained by the 100 students but one student actual mark is 65 right so actual mark of one student will be 65 but they have taken a wrong reading as 75 friends most important listen here friends 65 is the actual mark but they have taken a reading as 75 so they have taken 10 marks more when compared to the original mark right so we need to subtract from the total 6000 so friends total mark is 6000 so we need to subtract 10 marks divided by the average right so we know that there are total 100 students in a school so friends the wrong reading that they have taken is 65 instead of 65 they have taken a wrong reading as 75 we can surely say that they have taken a wrong reading that is plus 10 marks more so we need to subtract 10 marks from the total marks of the students so 6000 will be the total marks of 100 students so minus 10 because of we need to find an average divided by total number of students that is 100 right so 6000 minus 10 will be 5990 divided by 100 is equals to 59.9 so finally we have calculated the correct average that is 59.9 so friends they have calculated a wrong average as 60 so finally we have uh, found the correct average that is 59.9 that is answer for question number one question number two a mathematics teacher tabulated the marks secured by 35 students of 8th class. The average of their marks was 72. If the mark secured by Rima was written as 36 instead of 86, then find the correct average marks up to two decimal places. Okay. So friends, listen here friends. First of all, in a classroom, there are 35 students and the average will be 72. But this is a wrong average. Why? Because one student uh, name called Rima, his actual mark was 86, but they have wrongly calculated as 36. So our target to find what is the correct average for 35 students. So friends, first of all, in a classroom, there are 35 students and the average mark obtained by is will be 72, right? So if I multiply 35 into 72, the resultant will be the total marks obtained by 35 students, right? So 5 into 2 will be 10. So reminder will be 1. So 6 and 35 will be uh, 41. So 41 plus 1 will be 42. Reminder will be 4. So 21 plus 4, 25. So finally, we can say that 2520 will be the total marks obtained by 35 students. So friends, then the person Rima, right? So Rima's actual mark, her actual mark will be 86. Okay. But they have calculated a wrong reading as 36. So friends, listen here friends. The actual reading is 86, but they have calculated as 36. They have wrongly noted as 36. So we can definitely say that they have wrongly calculated 50 marks less when compared to the original mark. So we need to add 50 to the total marks, right? So the total marks will be 2520 plus 50 so divided by we need to find an average right so divided by 35 students so this can be done as 2570 divided by 35 so friends we need to divide this right no other way i think we can cancel this on five table friends if i cancel this on five table five fives are 25 so one fives are five reminder will be two so i think five fours are 20 right so when we cancel this on five tables on fives are 35 so 514 divided by 7 so i think we need to uh, calculate for two decimal places right so 7 7s are 49 so the remainder will be 2 24 7 3s are 23 will be 21 so the remainder will be 3 so 0 0.0, 0. 
I think 7 4s are 28 so again it will be 2 something 0 0.0 so friends I, finally we can say that the answer will be 73.43 right we need to calculate only last two decimal places so 73.43 will be the new average for the entire classroom of 35 students so friends listen here friends just compare what is the difference between question number one and question number two in question number one we have subtracted but in question number two we have added so just see what is the difference between first question and second question which is more important right so in this question they have taken a reading that is 50 less when compared to the actual mark but in the previous question they have taken a more mark when compared to the actual mark question number three the average of marks of 14 students was calculated as 71 but it was later found that mark of one student have been wrongly entered as 42 instead of 56 and another as 74 instead of 32 so what is the correct average so friends listen here friends in previous two question where only one student mark has been wrongly calculated but here two students marks has been wrongly entered right so we need to find what is the correct average so when similarly we know that 14 will be the total number of students so into 71 so 14 into 71 the resultant will be the total marks obtained by 14 students so 4 into 1 will be 4 so 7 was a 28 28 plus 1 will be 29 reminder will be 2 so 7 and 2 will be 9 so friends 994 will be the total marks obtained by 14 students but now one student mark has been wrongly entered 42 instead of 56 so we can surely say that the actual mark will be 56 and the wrong reading has been taken as 42 friends listen here friends most important step the actual mark is 56 but they have taken a reading that is 42 wrong reading is 42 so we can definitely say that they have taken a reading that is 14 less when compared to the actual mark so we need to add 14 to the total mark right okay and another student have I think uh, there is an another student where the mark is wrongly noted 74 instead of 32 friends listen here friends actual mark will be 32 right but they have so the wrong reading they have calculated as 74 so friends listen here friends actual mark is only 32 but they have calculated a wrong reading as 74 so we can definitely say that i think they have calculated 42 marks more right so we need to subtract 42 from the total so finally we can say that 994 plus 14 minus 42 and we need to find what is the correct average right so divided by so 994 plus 14 minus 42 divided by we know that there are totally 14 students so divided by 14 so friends this region is most important right if you find this region correctly then solving all the question will be so simple so friends in first case they have calculated 14 marks less when compared to the actual mark so we need to add 14 in the second case they have calculated 42 marks more when compared to the actual mark so we need to subtract 42 from the total mark right so now we need to add and subtract and we need to divide by 14 to get a new average right so uh, 14 so friends 14 and uh, minus 42 will be minus 28 right so 994 minus 28 divided by 14 so when we eliminate minus 28 the resultant will be 966 right 966 by 14 so friends i think we need to cancel this right so uh, 14 i think uh, six times right so six times and uh, the remaining will be 9 so 69 right so finally i can say that the answer will be 69 friends so the new average right the so new average for the 14 students will be 69 so finally we got an answer for question number three that is 69 question number four the average mark in science subject of a class of 20 students is 68 so if the mark of two students were measured as 48 and 65 where the actual mark is 72 and 61 respectively so what would be the correct average friends this question is similar to the previous question right where two student uh, mark has been missed so friends first of all we know that the classroom has 20 students so 20 into 68 so resultant will be the total marks obtained by the 20 students right so i think 0 so 8 into 2 will be 16 reminder will be 1 so 1360 so friends 1360 will be the total marks obtained by the 20 students in science right and uh, they have taken a wrong rating that is 48 and 65 but the original mark is 72 and 61 friends listen here friends this is actual mark 72 and 61 but the wrong rating is 48 and uh, 65 so friends the actual mark is 72 but they have taken a wrong reading that is by 24 right so they have taken 24 marks less when compared to the actual mark similarly here they have taken 
4 marks more when compared to the original mark right so friends here they have taken a reading 24 marks less when compared to the actual mark so here they have taken 4 marks more when compared to the actual mark so we need to add 24 and we need to subtract 4 right which is most important friends so we need to add 24 to the total mark and we need to subtract 4 from the total mark right so uh, 1360 plus friends 24 minus 4 will be 20 right so when we add this can be written as 1380 divided by we need to find an average right so total in a classroom there are 20 students okay so this can be done as 6 2s are 12 reminder will be 1 so 69 so friends finally we got an answer that is new average for 20 students that is 69 so finally we got an answer for question number 4 that is 69 so friends the most important region this region right so after writing this region you need to know whether we use most important because you need to know whether we need to add or subtract with the total marks question number 5 the average mark in science subject of a class of 24 students is 56 if the mark of three students was mustered as 44, 45 and 61, of an actual mark were 48, 59 and 67. Okay, so what would be the correct average? Okay friends, first of all in a classroom there are 24 students and the total average will be 56. So we can definitely say that 24 into 56, the resultant will be the total marks obtained in science subject, right? So 6, 4 are 24, right? 24 into 56. So 6, 4 are 24, reminder will be 2. So 20, 12 will be 32. So 34, the reminder will be 3, 10 and 13, right? So 1, 3, 4, 4. So finally we can say that the total marks obtained by this 24 students will be 1, 3, 4, 4. So friends, there are three student mark has been mustered that 44, 45 and 61. The actual mark is 48, 59 and 67. So friends, first of all, first student actual mark is 48, right? And uh, the second student actual mark is 59 and the third student will be 67. But they have wrongly noted as 44 and next will be 45 and the last will be 61 so friends listen here friends the actual mark is 48 but they have wrongly noted as 44 so they have noted four mark less when compared to the original mark similarly here they have uh, noted 14 marks less when compared to the original mark right and uh, here they have noted six mark less when compared to the original mark so we need to add 4 14 6 to the total marks right so 14 plus 6 will be 20 so 24 so we need to add 24 marks to the total mark right so 1 3 4 4 plus 24 so this can be done as 8 so 4 plus 2 will be 6 and 3 and 1 so 1 3 6 8 divided by the total number of students will be 24 right so we need to find the correct average okay so friends now we need to cancel this i think uh, we can cancel this on two table right it's easy right when we cancel this on two table 12 twos are 24 so 6 twos are 12 reminder will be 1 8 twos are 16 four times so again we can cancel this on 12 or otherwise 12 5 is a 60 i think the reminder will be uh, 8 84 7 so friends finally we got an answer some is 57 so friends finally we got a new average that is 57 for question number 5 so friends finally we have solved five different questions on lesson number four that is based on true and false average right so friends don't forget to watch the remaining lessons and share this video to your friends so that your friends can also learn this